Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Happy Thursday afternoon or Thursday morning or whatever it is from wherever in the world you're watching. We're here at the Brevard Zoo. Going to do a little walk around, see all the animals, see what we see. Thanks, Logan, for the heart, me. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. We're going to start in Rainforest Revealed today, which includes our monkeys, otters, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the jaguar and cheetah are in this loop as well. Mama Bear, thank you so much for the cat paws. Guys, tap that screen, please, so we can try to get uh, TikTok to send out some notifications to more people. And at any time, if you ever want to put emojis in the chat, if you don't have something that you want to say, you can do emojis. That all helps to keep TikTok sending us out to more people. Hey, Bones. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's a little bit warmer. It's like probably around 77, something like that. Not exactly cool, but dryish air. <laughs> Thank you, Bones, for the heart, me. Hey, Mrs. Uh, Missouri. Welcome in, guys. <laughs> Welcome in. So hopefully not all the animals will be sleeping today. We'll see. We'll see what we find today, guys. Kathy, thank you so much for the cat paws. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see if Miss Little Miss Thang is in here. The cheetah. Where you at? Where are you? Um, she... Oh, there she is, right there, guys. <gasps> She's up and about. Up and about, back there. Come on. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Hi, Richard. So I'm at the Brevard Zoo, which is about, um, I don't know what she's doing back there. It's about 35 minutes southwest of Port Canaveral, Florida. So I come here on Tuesdays, every every Tuesday morning. And then um, Thursday afternoon, Thursday sometime, um, I've been going live. She's going in her little house back there. All right, we're going to move on. Um, Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon on the days when we don't have uh, a ship in port on Thursdays. We have a capuchin monkey right here. I'm trying to get the shade. There you go. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Sam. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Wee. The monkeys are very hard to follow with the <laughs> with the gimbal. I'm hoping the spider monkeys will be out today. Hi. You doing well? Glad to hear that. Welcome in, everybody. If this is your first time here with me, my name is Jennifer. I live stream cruise ships at Port Canaveral five to six days a week. We also come to this Brevard Zoo, which is 35 minutes southwest of Port Canaveral uh, because it's a fantastic place to um, visit, whether you are in, the, in town just for a day or two before or after a cruise or whenever you might be in the Space Coast area. Hi, Debbie. Presley, hello. You got your neon yellow shirt ready for tomorrow? Yes! Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Super excited. You're on the aft? Nice. Um, that guy back there is weird. He's a weird one, so we're not going to focus on him for too long. She's under the oh, okay. You want some stretches? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my or gosh. A strange position for a nap, one or the other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you want to sit. Mm hmm. Wow. I love to say, a pretty girl. Hmm. Yeah, I love pretty girl. 
Say your name again for me. Messiah. Messiah. Okay, I'm gonna get it one of these weeks. Messiah. <laughs> you gonna get one? No, she's not gonna. I want to. I want to get one. You want to get one? You want a jaguar? <laughs> oh, I don't know, but all that. Here. They eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stay with the jaguar? Oh, are you done? Sure. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Messiah, guys. We're gonna try to remember Messiah. Just getting a little drink. So pretty. So pretty. Hi, Masaya. Masaya. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> so beautiful. Guys, thank you so much for tapping the screen. I appreciate it so much. We are trying to get to, right now, uh, 300 kitty cat paws. What she's looking at. What did she look at? at there. Okay. All right, we'll move on. Masaya, we'll see her again on Tuesday next week. Um, let's see, I can't ever remember if there's anyone in there. No, okay. Let's see if we can find these spider monkeys today, guys. My favorites. And uh, they were all hiding on Tuesday when I was here. So let's see if we can find them today. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tapping the screen, sharing this out. If you want to do some hashtags of your favorite zoo animals, that would be awesome too. I am going to be going live tonight, guys, by the way, um, at Port Canaveral for a sunset. We don't have any ships, but I'm going to go live for sunset and maybe some after dark fun. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, guys. No, I have no idea. I don't think anyone's over here currently. I don't see any. Oh, sometimes they were nappy nap. Nappy nap time. Well, they're you know, a bunch of guys. They're doing what they want to do. Kathy, thank you very much for the cat. And you can see one over here, ma'am, if you're looking. Yeah, where's the whole where's the whole group? All right. We have ten. <laughs> yeah. Um, but today they're divided into two groups. These are the three males. Okay. Where and oh, there. there through where you were before are the seven females. Okay. So they could be anywhere. Oh, I see one right there. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I see a bunch. Yeah, and see a couple three yes. up in the room. Yes. Okay. They're wherever they are. Yeah. And look what that tail does. Look, I funny. know. So don't try to do it. They are so strong, too. What are, what are you, you doing? To do, honey? What you doing? I have news for you. They have moved laws. Have they? Oh, it's a hand. It's not your tail. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm oh. Bless you. God bless you. was right. <laughs> Yeah, she's playing with those logs. No, she's not playing. She's decided she wants them there. <laughs> and you saw how strong she is. So she did move it a little. And those I'm things are nailed down. Aww. Well, um, hey, baby. We've actually had to do some things in here because they did a number. Okay. You see this thing? <laughs> I know it's hard to see through the, uh, a, the wire. This one's a lot younger. On a pole. They turned it into a world. They got it spinning and tilting, which was a little unsafe for us but because you know, that meant the nail could come off any time. Oh, yeah. So uh, poor um, Grace had to literally get that thing out of the dirt. They were having the thing so 
I think all the monkeys are sleeping on top of this this roof right here. <laughs> I think they're like they're all like chilling right on top of there. So I can't see them right now. Whoa, a lot of thumping going on up there. <laughs> Hello, who's up there? <laughs> I hear them. I hear them. Oh, there's one right there. I know it's so hard through the glass. This one's hard to see with the lighting. Oh, I can do all that. I names. cannot tell yeah, you. That's easy. All right, moving on, guys. Moving on. Oh, here's the little freaky deaky guy. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's just like next to impossible to look through glass, so. I won't even bother. <laughs> I won't even bother. Down to 14 people. Nobody wants to see zoo animals. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, what you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Don't see anybody in there either. A couple of my favorites up here, the otters. Let's see if they're out or sleeping. Everyone's probably sleeping right now. I have a feeling. The otters are up. Right up there. I guess that's their favorite place to nap. <laughs> you got the whole fam with you? Awesome. Awesome. All right, nappy time for the otters. It's probably nap time for a lot of them. They're restless nappers, though. Rolling around a lot. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> Thanks, Timothy. Guys, we're trying to get to um, 300 cat paws right now is our first goal. I'm going to go check the, uh, the train schedule and see what is the next time we can get on the train ride. Uh-oh. I gotta be careful, guys. We don't wanna be in that zone. <laughs> we don't wanna be in that zone. Definitely not. Hi, Tweety Bird. Uh, sorry, I had to get through that area right there. It smelled. Um, hubby and I leave on the old November 11th on a cruise. Awesome! Make sure you bring me on yellow t-shirt to wave when you're sailing away. If you want me to spot you. Hi, leaking fan! Alright, let's go check the screen. Train schedule. Choo-choo! Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo! The weather is beautiful. It's a little warmer. It's probably like 78 degrees-ish. 77, 78. My guess. That would be my guess. But it's beautiful. Beautiful day. Your weather's gloomy, right? Kathy, thank you so much for the cat paws. Your weather's gloomy and rainy in Michigan. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Let's see. My lady that... Let's see, what time is it now? 1.50. Okay, 2.30. We need a ticket for the 2.30 train. 
Unless they're getting ready to go right now. Hello. Uh, are they going right now? Yes, ma'am. Too late to get on? Uh, not quite yet. Oh, perfect. We're going on the train ride. Is it ready or no? Yep. Oh, okay. Did it go? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> and if you, gotta, you just want to follow me this way? Sure. This okay. We're going right now, guys. Thanks, Chris. Love your leggings. <laughs> Somebody's in the back back, so we'll have to stay away from that one. Just screaming kids. Oh, yeah. Nope, we're going to stay up here. <laughs> ah, we'll go one up so I'm not in the sun. Oh, we just made it in time. We just made it in time. Thank you so much, Chris, for the cat balls. You guys, we're going to go see, um, on this train ride, we get to see um, camel... Bongos, Hello everybody and welcome to our Cape to Cairo Zebra. Express. So before we go ahead and get started, we do have to go over a few instructions real quickly. Our first instruction of course is please keep your hands, feet, toes and elbows inside the train at all times. Our second instruction, if you're running open food or drinks on the t train today, please go ahead and close those now and put them away. Because unfortunately all of our animals are on a special diet that does not include cotton candy, popcorn or any type of soda. Our next instruction, if you're running a purse along is with you on the train today, please make sure you hold on to them nice and tightly. Because if we lose anything off the side of the train, we cannot stop to pick it up. But once we get back to the train Holding station, we will have somebody go out and get it for you. And then our last instruction, once we exit our train tunnel, we are entering a live animal yard. And some of our animals do try to get close to the train. But please don't try to reach out and touch them or scream and yell at them. They really don't like it. Now with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy this ride. All aboard! Woo woo! All right, um, I'm resetting the gift goal right now, guys. Let's see here. We gotta have some food to feed the animals, so we're gonna do 300 corn. Is our next gift goal 300 corn? We can feed the, feed the animals. Thank you guys again so much for tapping the screen. After this, we're going to go see the lions, so our mission the bears. Is we share a joy Thank you, Chris. To help wildlife and people thrive. And some of the ways we like to help our wildlife thrive is through our conservations, which you guys help with with the purchase of a zoo ticket or a membership. And some of our conservations are our giraffe conservation in Africa, our jaguar conservation in South and Central America, and then right here in beautiful Bavard County, we like to help our sea turtles and our scrub jays. Okay, let's let's Coming see if we can get to uh um, you'll be able to see a tan building just barely peeking over the fifteen K by the time we get back. Fifteen K likes by the time we get back. They will build, rebuild, or tear so down tap that screen. we ask of them. Then on our other side is our two sided free flight aviaries. But we'll talk more about those on our return trip. Okay. so much Chris for all that corn noisy birds coming up on our left hand side in the middle of these three trees are some eggs 
Now we will talk more about those eggs on our return trip, but here's the perfect chance to guess on what kind of eggs those are. Now we are going to stop in the tunnel for just a moment, just so I can climb down and make sure none of our animals are kind of hiding around the corner right here. So please everybody remain seated. So peaceful. So quiet. <laughs> I stay within my little my little so it looks I can like do we're whatever there, I want. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The only rule is you can't climb no, outside of it. As we exit our train, the only rule is you can't climb no, outside of it. As we exit our train tunnel, we are entering our live animal yard. And as I said, some of our animals do try to get close to the we'll train. Frankie, the but once again, please do not try to reach out and touch them or scream and yell at them. Okay. They really don't like it. Okay. As we exit Frankie. our tunnel over on our left hand side, you'll be able to see our dromedary camel, Frankie. Now the way I know Frankie is a dromedary camel is because he only has one hump. The other one you might know with two humps is called a Bactrine camel. Now most people believe that camels have water in that hump. I'm here to tell you it's actually fat in there. But the reason most people believe it's water is because camels can drink about 30 gallons of water in about 10 minutes. So most people believe that water has to go somewhere quickly. Well, it does. It goes right into their tummies. However, if you ever see a camel with a little hunch in his hump, that means there's not plenty of food and water around for them. So they're actually absorbing that fat in their hump or right back into their bodies to kind of help sustain them. And then as soon as there is plenty of food and water around again, they're going to hump right back up. And if you ever see a baby camel, you might notice they have no hump at all. And the reason for that is it's because they grow it throughout the years. Mmm. They grow it throughout the year. The rhinos are out. On the other side of these trees, across our river and through the wooden fence, you'll be able to see our white rhinos and some of our greedy zebras. Now, if you've seen our white rhinos today, you might have noticed something funny about them. They're not actually white. They're a grayish brownish color, or sometimes they look a little red, because they like to roll around in the red clay in their habitat. And our greedy zebras are also known as imperial zebras, because they are the largest zebra species. Over on our right hand side, under the little hut over here, you'll be able to see these white and brown guys with these curved horns. These are scimitar and horned oryxes, and they got their name because their horns resemble a scimitar sword. Now those guys are pretty incredible because when it gets very hot in Africa, hotter than it does here in Florida, those guys can actually raise their body temperature up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So they'll sweat less and need less water, which is perfect when there's not a lot of water around to drink. Next on our right hand side, you'll be able to see these guys with the big horns. These are with two sea cattle. Their names are Galloping Ghost, Boss Hog, and Maximus. Now with two sea cattle, they're also known as the Cattle of Kings. And the reason they're known as the Cattle of Kings is because they symbolize wealth and power. Coming up on our left hand side, you'll be able to see these deer like looking creatures. These guys are actually our impalas, they're a type of antelope. Now those are all male impalas, and you can always tell the males from the females because the males have horns and the females do not. And here we are passing some more of our greedy zebras. Now the one question I get most about zebras is which way are they striped? So they are black with white stripes, and the way you can tell is usually by their nose, because their nose is usually a black or brownish color. So they have black skin just like a polar bear with white and black hair over top. Now they have that skin coloration so they don't get sunburned in the plains of Africa. Because I don't know about you, but it'd be kind of funny to see a pink zebra, wouldn't it? It would be super funny to see a pink zebra, yeah. That'd be really funny. <laughs> Hand side, kind of back near the fence over here, you'll be able to see these brown guys with these white stripes across their back. These are some of our bongos. Now, bongos are known as the largest forest antelope, and in old African culture, it was believed if you touched or ate a bongo, you would start having seizures. 
But of course, as years went on, people started believing that less and less, so Bongos got hunted more and more. Hi. But don't worry, because these guys are perfect hide and seekers. It actually took people over 60 years to discover the first Bongo, because they hide so well. Coming up on our right hand side, we're going to be passing our scimitar and horn to Oryxes again. Now you actually can't tell who is boy and who is girl because both boys and girls actually grow those horns. Thank you guys so much for tapping the screen. We're going for 15k by the time the train ride stops. And if you tap that screen, we'll get some more people in here too. So we will eventually be going over there. That is the Africa Loop where you're going to get to see the uh, giraffes, the rhinos, the zebras, more zebras, ostrich, Coming up on our left hand side, down near the bank of our river, is our Nile crocodile skull. Now we do not have any Nile crocodiles here at our zoo, however we do have their cousin the American crocodile. Most people believe that the Nile crocodile is the most dangerous animal in Africa. Well, it is a dangerous animal. It's not the most dangerous. The most dangerous animal in Africa Why is, she talking is that actually way? the hippo or the hippopotamus. <laughs> Why is she talking because that way? Because they are very territorial and very protective of their young. So most stories you hear about somebody getting hurt by a hippo is usually because they got a little too close. At least we get to see Frankie twice. And right before we re-enter our tunnel, over on our right-hand side this time, we'll be able to see Frankie one more time. One more time. Yo, Frankie. It's like he just got his head in the food bowl. Once we re-enter our tunnel, over on our left-hand side, you'll be able to see the beautiful artwork that was made at Lewis Carroll Elementary in Merritt Island. <laughs> Some of our animals here at our zoo. Island. Bye, Frankie. <laughs> and over on our right hand side, in the middle yeah, of those three talk. trees, are those eggs again. Now, I hope you took your guess because I'm about to tell you what kind of eggs those are. Those are ostrich eggs. Now, those are real. We did have an ostrich here that actually did lay those. However, she laid them before we got our male ostrich, so those eggs are unfertilized. So we use them more for educational purposes instead. But of course, we don't want to leave the yolk of those eggs with the heat and humidity we have here in Florida. So to get the yolk out, we have to take a drill to those eggs. Because those eggshells are about an eighth of an inch thick. But to be fair, they do have to withstand about a 200 to 300 pound bird laying on top of them. Talking about birds, here we are passing our two-sided free flight aviaries again. Now it is free to go through our aviaries, but if you would like to feed our birds for just $2, you can feed a nectar cup to our lorikeets or a seed stick to our cockatiels. And they're not the only ones in there, of course. We also have our rosette spoonbills, our scarlet ibises, our kookaburros, and our brown pigeons. I need an expression for the photo coming up so here, guys. What, parrots, what expression would you like me to have the for the are, photo? Are Put it in and the, the chat. And you see up in the trees and down on the ground with that pale pink color are rosette spoon bills. And the ones you also see down on the ground with that vibrant pink color are scarlet ibises. And our lands of change loop, we have our solar trees that we put in by FPNL. And our solar trees are put in to heat our Komodo dragon house. Stunned, okay, yes, you got it. correctly, we do have a dragon here at our zoo, and his name is Ryu. Now coming up on our right-hand side, we are going to be passing our camera. So Stunned. please remember to smile and say cheese. Okay, get ready, guys. I'm going to give you the expression. And here's Ryu's habitat right now. Now this green building right behind Ryu's house is where he likes to sleep at night. So with all the sunshine we collected today, and hopefully yesterday, it should be nice and warm and toasty from tonight. 
Now with that, we are back to the train station. Please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. I could have done it a few different ways. I could have done better. I could have done better. I could have done better. If you guys are interested in purchasing those pictures that were just taken, you can scan the QR code either on the train booth window or across the way on the wall as well. Hopefully there's somebody. Please enjoy the rest of your day here at Bombard Zoo. Hopefully there's somebody that can get the QR code, um, take a screenshot of the QR code for me and post it in the Discord chat. Good body. Good, good, good. Let's flip it around. Thank you. Alright, let's go back. Hi, Monica! Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you very much. <sighs> Thanks, Chris. Um, should I get a bottle of water now? Mm, let's go see the bears and the lions. And then I'll grab a bottle of water when I come back through. And we head, head over to see the kangaroos and the bird aviaries. Thank you guys so much for tapping the screen and help me get... Uh, hopefully we can get to those 300 corn before I finish this loop. That's our goal. 300 corn before I finish this loop. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, the alligators are out right where we can see them pretty well. So over here we have an American crocodile. He's got his mouth open. Let me get the camera where we want it. There you go. That's an American crocodile. And then on the other side we have the American alligators. Alligators have a shorter, stumpier, squared off, more squared off nose. And the uh, crocodiles have a little bit more of an elongated, whoops, pointier, pointier snout. <laughs> and mouth, of course. All right. Do, 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 do. Thank you guys so much for continuing to tap that screen. Let's see if we can get to 20k likes by the time I finish this loop. 20k likes by the time I finish this loop, which has the bears, the lions, and the bobcat. Oh, and Peach, our, our little white spotted deer, right up here. Peach! <laughs> see if we can find her. Oh, here she is, right there. Here she is. Peach. Peach. <laughs> Hi, baby. I see you. Let me see if I can see her right there. Another one. <laughs> Peach. Come here, babies. They're all just, all three of them are hanging out in the, in the brush, in the shade. Two white-tailed deer and a, I don't know what it's called, uh, I don't know, it's got spotted white spots all over it. <laughs> I don't know what exactly what it's called, though. All right. Doesn't look like any of the bears are very visible, maybe. Let's see. I do, but it's just Eli Roth who's just chalked around the other day. Don't see any bears out. Oh, he's way back there. 
Thank you, Chris. Is he going poo poos? <laughs> is he going poo poo? Or is he just crouched? I know. I don't think he was going. Sorry. It's very hard with a gimbal. <laughs> very hard with a gimbal. Thank you so much, Chris, for getting us to that goal. I appreciate it more than words can say. <sighs> turkeys. There's turkeys in there. All right, we're looking for lions. Lions. Are there any lions out here today? Oh, they're all up here sleeping. They're all up here sleeping. Oh, I just got a whiff of something delicious. Something like jasmine or something fruity. Yes, we have three, uh, three lions here at the Brevard Zoo. They're all brothers, I'm told. And they are all napping right now. Of course, because lions sleep. I don't know, like 22 hours a day or something crazy like that? Let's see. Uh, let's see, American lions, a prehistoric relative of African lions, once roamed across much of North America, including Florida. Lions? What? Reaching lengths of over 8 feet, the American lion was one of the largest cats to ever live. To, that's historically. Then today, in the past 25 years, half of the world's lion population was lost to habitat destruction, poaching, and loss of prey. Your zoo, the Brevard Zoo, is joining with partners across Florida and around the world to help secure a future for lions by participating in African Lion Species Survival Plan and supporting projects that protect lions in their natural range. So yes, next step for these lions right here is to move over into their new enclosure which is much much larger um, in the Africa loop this is a temporary enclosure for them while they build the other the new one uh, let's see what's going on in the uh, bobcat enclosure oh she's down there sleeping I'll see if you can zoom in on her she's right there Right there. Thank you so much, Chris, for all of that corn. I'm gonna reset our gift goal. Seeing how we just took a train ride, we're gonna go for one, just one train. Who wants to send a train for our our gift goal? I think there's only one bobcat. And that she just has access to explore either side. Because I don't think she's in here right now. Oop, excuse me. Did you just send a train, Chris? Did I miss it? <laughs> Did I miss it? I did, Chris. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my Lord. Choo-choo. Thank you so much, Chris. All right, I'm going to reset, guys. Let's go ahead and do... Hi. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get... Do, 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 do. Five panther paws. Five panther paws. It's our new gift goal. Whoops, no, not five zero. Five. <laughs> Fifty panther paws. Let's see. Sometimes they're hiding and you just don't know that they're even in there. Thank you so much for the panther paw. Kathy, thank you very much. What, Chris? Thank you so much. Here, we'll go. I'll go show you guys this area. I never, uh, I've never taken you guys down this little walkway here. Chris, thank you so much. <laughs> Why does that look so cool when I'm at the zoo? <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Chris. Meow. <laughs> Meow, Kathy with the panther paw. Thank you. Holy cow, you guys got to that already. Thank you so much, Chris and Kathy. 
Chris and Kathy. <laughs> that girl's voice on the train was cracking me up. Ah, uh, let's see. Who? 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 Let's see. Do 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 do. Ooh, we have elephant trunk. Let's go for. Five elephant trunks. I hear a little cardinal. <laughs> Five elephant trunks. That means I need to turn the camera around, I think. Let's see here. For just a minute. <laughs> For just a minute. So that the elephant trunk can go on my face if you guys want to send it. Whoa, I almost walked into something. Whoa. Um, so this area down here, oh, there is somebody working out here, okay. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Thank you, who sent that? Thank you, Chris. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, so tell me about what you guys do out here. Um, so out here is um, the wetlands, so it houses um, the kayak, the wetlands kayaking, and treetop check. Um, so... On the weekends, it's a little more busy, but usually during the weekdays, one of us mans both desks. Um, our treetop track courses, the only one that's open today is our canopy walk. Um, however, uh, once we're finished construction, um, all our courses will be open. The canopy walk is about a 45 minute course. Um, it's mostly wood bridges. Um, there aren't any zip lines, but right. it's still pretty adventurous. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, um, looking at it and hearing the description of it is a little misleading. Yeah. Um, there's still a lot of movement, a lot of balance. Mm -hmm. um, and then once construction is finished, will be our challenge reloaded course and then our zip it zip line. Um, so challenge reloaded, we'll go over our big 75 foot, 800 feet long zip line. I mean, you can kind of see the cable out there. Um, there's oh, about yeah. 17 or so obstacles out there. They get harder in difficulty as you go through. Um, then you'll take one zip line back across once we put it up. Which gotcha. um, leads into our zip it zip line, which is what they're doing now. Oh, okay. Um, you'll zip across the zip line that's over our head. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I see. Out over here. I see um, there's a big old zip line. staircase okay. and then back over a zip line that'll be in the middle to the bottom Somewhere. of our tower. You'll head down a staircase. So you guys are still doing kayak. So you do kayaking over by Africa, mm -hmm. and then this is just a separate one completely. Yeah. So it's um, completely different. It's a it is a loop. So you'll go out either way, um, do a loop through a tree tunnel, and then back here. Oh, okay. This takes about fifteen minutes if you're going at a pretty decent like yeah pace. Um, you do get thirty minutes out on the water. Right. However, um, you don't see like actual zoo animals. Right, right. It is 26 acres of natural Florida wetlands. Um, so there's yeah. fish, there's turtles. Um, you'll see sandhill cranes, a gator or two or three occasionally. And um, in the winter, as it gets colder, um, an otter will come out. Because mm -hmm. um, we've got a wild otter that lives out there. Nice. Um, okay. But it's kind of more of like a relaxing. Um, yes, I know. Break, I know. Some cool pictures. Here. Um, Sensory and quiet area. So this also um, doubles as a quiet area. Um, it's sensory right. inclusive. Um, so if anyone needs a mental break, yeah. um, especially how loud the zoo gets. Right, yeah, that's um, me. So I need mental spot. breaks when there's kids around. Okay, <laughs> I'm allergic to kids. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right. It's pretty relaxing. Awesome. It's yeah, it's a nice difference. area for sure, and it's beautiful out here. All right, thank you. Yeah, you have a great rest of your day. <laughs> thank you, you too. Da, 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 da. So there you have it. There's two different areas you can go kayaking, but like she said, there's no there's no zoo animals that you're going to see out there. It's just basically natural Florida wildlife, and it's only a 15 minute loop around. So if you're going to do it, I think you would want to do it over by the um, the giraffes and the rhinos and stuff like that in the Africa loop. All right, guys, let's see, where are we at? One out of five elephant ears. I'm leaving it facing me just for a second, so if you guys send any of the line, or the elephant, elephant ears, it'll actually go on my face. Next up, we're going to the um, down under, down under loop, that's not what they call it. I can't remember what they call it. 
I'll have to make a mental note when we get over there. <sighs> Gotta go for now, my TikTok fam. Going to watch a movie. Have fun. Hi, Shakira. Hello, Shakira. You survive your day, okay? <laughs> well, they got vultures up here and... <coughs> Hang on. <clears throat> don't choke, Jen. You don't have any water. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Do you want to put elephant ears on a, um, a bald eagle? There you go. Now's your chance. So beautiful. You got through it? Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Love you too, Monica. I just, it's cracking me up because the vultures are hanging out with the, <laughs> the vultures are just wild. I don't think that those are um, actually, I could be wrong. I don't think that their wings are clipped. I think they're just choosing to hang out here with the, uh, with the eagle because they know the eagle's going to get food delivered to him. <laughs> and they're like, well, why should we go hunt for food when uh, food will be delivered? What in the name of all that is holy? <laughs> Gosh, I think it's an anteater. Let's see if I can get a shot of him. We haven't seen the anteater yet. Oh, he's moving. It's on the move. He's right back there. I'm trying to get a shot of him. There he is. <laughs> oh my god, look at his snout. It's got quite the snout. You're flying down to Florida on Sunday? Nice. So this is the Brevard Zoo. It's in Melbourne, Florida. It's about 35 minutes southwest of um, Port Canaveral. So very... You can get through this entire zoo in, in, uh, in two hours comfortably. Comfortably. Oh, that's a loose board back there. A loose board. Uh, hi, Alex. How are you? Okay, let me get a can of water real quick, guys. Hi there. Hey. Can I get a can of water? Can of water. Please? Can I get anything else? That's it. Come to four ninety nine. You're paying with a card. Didn't work. Oh, do you have the um, discount or whatever for members? You do. You're a member. I want to give you a discount. Option discount member. Good thing it didn't work. It didn't hey, work. Right, I'll tell you. It'll tell you once you remove your card. Okay. There you go. Would you like the receipt? That's okay. Thank I'll you so much. You too. Water in a can. Let's come over here for a second. Thank you guys for continuing to tap that screen. I appreciate it very much. Show you guys the flamingos real quick and get myself a sip of water. If I can get this open. <laughs> Alright, if you've ever stood close to flamingos, you know they stink. It's a very stinky enclosure. 
Oh, look at all the black on their wings. You know, you never realize that they have so much black on their wings until they spread them, spread them out. <laughs> Sorry, you're not feeling well, Alex. Hope you feel better soon. All right. Let's go down under, shall we? Hi, Diana. Yes, you can get very close to them. Oh, thank you. Because you know I need that crap. I, I have a... One of these days when we come, guys, the Joey is going to be out of Mama's pouch. Could be any day. Could be today. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Sorry if I'm not reading comments, guys. Sometimes when I'm out here in the sun, it's really hard to see because of the reflection. Have I been past the Jaguar? Yes, I did go past it already. That's in the first loop. Sorry. She was out there. Looking beautiful. Do, 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 do. What's in a glass of it? What? You want to know what's in there? Alex? Uh, there's like a big lizard thing. Um, I didn't see him outside though. Let me see. Let me see if he's in here. Um, there we go. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's in is he a Komodo dragon? Maybe. Uh, oh yeah, I guess he's a Komodo dragon. <laughs> Komodo dragon. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I think this is the daddy kangaroo sitting over here by himself. Daddy kangaroo right there. We got an emu right here. Say hello there. Hello. Bye. Catch you on the flip side. I guess we'll do the kangaroo loop and then we'll go into the aviary. white birds. A lot of white birds over here. Whoa. Making, making a fresh little spot to nap. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Oh my gosh. There's the Joey, guys. Joey's out. And then Joey, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm excited to finally oh, see. Oh, you're excited to see the baby? Yeah, finally. It's my first time seeing it out of, the, out of Mama's pouch. I hope I'm in the right spot for you guys to see it. She's giving him a little bath. <laughs> giving him a little bath. Precious is he so little? Thank you guys so much for tapping that screen. I feel like his head is still in her pouch. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I gotta get out of the way. More people are coming. <laughs> More people are coming. But it's good to know he's standing on the ground. My arm, my arm. There was one on a bush behind you. Uh, there was, there was one what behind me? Hi, Nisi. Thank you so much for the heart, me. All right, I'm gonna reset our gift goal, guys. Let me do that real quick. while I'm in the shade here. Next up, we're gonna have the Africa Loop where we're gonna get to see the giraffes up close and the rhinoceroses. <laughs> All right, let's do some chilies. 300 chilies is our new gift goal. And if you guys wanna share this out with any friends here on TikTok, I greatly appreciate that too. A kangaroo on the fence. <laughs> well, I mean, there's kangaroos all over the place in here. There's there's tons of them in here. They're just laying around all over the place right now. Nappy nap time. Macy, thank you so much for the chilies. waiting by the door for us today. <laughs> She's not waiting by the door. Shakira, thanks so much for the chilies. Guys, I am going to be doing a live stream tonight from Port Canaveral, even though it's not going to be, there's no cruise ships. I'm going to go for the sunset and a little bit of after dark fun. Hello. Good. There she is. There she is. I don't know exactly what time I'll be starting that live stream, but just giving you guys the heads up. All of our lorikeets. Where are they all? <laughs> I feel like there must be napping somewhere. Well, hi there. Hi.
You always say, when can we see the graffi graffiti? Alex, what graffiti are you talking about? <laughs> graffiti. You got somebody following you. Oh. <laughs> Little graffiti. Aw. Yeah. No, Pinky. Pinky. Pinky, following me. <laughs> yes. Who's <laughs> that kookaburra? Hi, Hi baby. Hi. What you doing? What you doing, baby? You are so cute. You are so cute. I like mice and lizards and snakes. Mice, lizards, and snakes, huh? Me too. <laughs> Me too. My favorite diet. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna try to get past these. Folks. There was a sign out for the food that said their bellies were full. All right. <laughs> these two down here crack me up. They always hang out together. Let's go see the frog. What is it called? The frog owl? Frog owl, I think. On um, the Cockatiel Creek. The Cockatiel Creek. You must always hang out in the same spot. Because <laughs> this is exactly where he was last time. Thank you so much, Suzanne, for the heart. Me? There he is. There he is. <laughs> frog out. Frog. Frog. Something. I think it's called frog face. Frog owl. I don't know. He looks like wood, though. Crazy, right? Just crazy. Shakira. Oh, oh, goodness. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he got a frog. Look at that, guys. He fro he actually just hunted inside his enclosure. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Oh, poor froggy. <laughs> poor froggy. They do that to break the bones. Oh, to yeah. <laughs> that was a keen eye. Woo wee. <laughs> Wow, that's a wildlife adventure right there. <laughs> he just he just found himself a, an actual frog in here and ate it. That's crazy. <laughs> I know, right? Poor frog. <laughs> Onwards to the final loop, which is Africa. I'm so sorry, it's really hard to see comments when I'm out in the sun, so let me see what I missed here. Let me see what I missed.
All right, guys, let's see if we can get some more people in here by tapping the screen. We're also going to be able to see the meerkats. The meerkats are on deck. It's crazy because we used to have tons of them and now they only have four. Guess they got too overpopulated maybe. Let's see if we can get our next gift goal, guys, of 300 chilies. Look, I got beekeepers here. Beekeepers. see them the um what do they call the Sai Siamang Siamang this guy right here we have two of them but I never seem to see them watch out for the birds today <laughs> I made it in and out of there without incident today nobody had any interest in my earrings today so I often see these these guys just sort of hanging right in the opening to their enclosure. Whoops, sorry guys. Um, so they have a moat around the island. The only way they get onto the island is from that rope, which leads to their enclosure. You can see the elbow or something sticking out right there. Oh my gosh, it's hot in the sun. Whoo wee. No can do. <laughs> no can do. All right, let's see if we can see the meerkats. They're little diggers. Little diggers. Come over here, honey. Whoops. There's another one. They're all digging. But I only see three, which means one of them is... Oh, there's the... This is the new lookout tower, apparently. <laughs> That's the new lookout, lookout post. Cracks me up. Cracks me up! Okay. On to the giraffes. What are you doing, baby? Hi. You're doing a good job looking out for hawks. You looking out for hawks? <laughs> yep, your turn to be the lookout. Hi. <laughs> so cute. So cute. How are you doing today, Marcy? Oh my God, it's so bright. So bright, my eyes are watering. Really bad. <laughs> Begin down to sip of water real quick.
And we're off. This is like zoo ASMR. <laughs> oh, look at that little zebra. That's a young one. There's a young one, guys. Look how little it is. Oh my gosh. It's a baby. You had mail? A nail in your tire at lunch? Oh gosh. Sorry, my eyes are like watering and burning. Look at that little one. So cute. <laughs> so cute. And a rhino. Let's see if we have any giraffes up at the Lookout tower. Nope, doesn't look like we do. Doesn't look like we do. Figures. They're all... All out on the other side. Oh, here's one over here. Okay. Here we go. We got some over here. I need my sunglasses on. It's too bright. <laughs> too bright. Hang on. I can't see a thing. There's a rhino right there. Two giraffes and the ostrich. They're munching on some hay. And the ostrich thing is so huge. <laughs> so in the back, we have uh, several more giraffes. Let's see if I can find them with my sunglasses on. Back there. Oh my gosh, the sun is killing me right now, guys. Sorry. So as the day gets later, the drafts are probably thinking, oh, it might be getting close time, close to time for us to go back into our barn. And that's the way that they get back to their barn is back. Ooh, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Kimba. There you go. Right back over there. They take that road to get back to their barn, so they might be might be thinking maybe it's barn time. <laughs> it's not that late in the afternoon, though. Okay, we finally get to see some ringtail lemur, guys. There are there are a bunch of them out here. There you go. Oh, a little grooming, a little family grooming. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sun is killing me, guys. <sighs> my eyes are burning. Oh, 
How many total lemurs? Oh, there's one walking. And of course, as soon as I can focus on him, oh, he, up the tree he goes. Up the tree he goes. And he stops. <laughs> and he stops. Okay. All right. <laughs> move over. <laughs> Just move over. I want some of that. Alright, guys. Whew. <laughs> the ostrich is just kind of hanging out right, beso right behind them. <laughs> I don't know if it's hoping to catch some, some scraps of something or what. But yeah, she's just hanging out right there. <sighs> Alright, so now I'm going to go home for a couple of hours and get ready to go back out to the port. For sunset, we don't have any cruise ships, but I'm going to go out there because I need to. <laughs> I need to. Excuse me. For anyone that might be just, just, just joining right now, uh, this has been the Barvard Zoo here on the Space Coast, 35 minutes southwest of Port Canaveral. You can see this entire zoo in about two hours. Monkey, the Siamang is out. Let me go see if we can catch it. Let's go see.
Yeah, they're both up on the platform. I'm going to try and see from the shade. <laughs> when I'm out in public. There they are. So these are... Yes, Shakira, it's a happy place, right? Um, S-A-I-M-A-N-G, Siamang, is what those are called. Some type of... <laughs> Love to see them do something. I did have to swim. Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me at the zoo. Happy to have you guys with me. And like I said, I'll be coming to you again later this afternoon, well this evening, um, from the port for hopefully a beautiful sunset and then maybe see how my eye told you my eye was watering like crazy <laughs> I told you my eye was going crazy oh that sun the sun was killing me bye Chris bye Shakira thanks everybody that sent any gifts and thanks for being here thanks for tapping the screen hi Kobe I'll see you guys again tonight probably around I don't know seven o'clock ish I'm thinking I gotta go wipe all the mascara off my face <laughs> Talk to you guys later.